Hello, I'm Kevin Cameron, and I want to say that parts have stories behind them. This engine is an evolution of an earlier engine, and the earlier engine was an evolution from an engine before that. Each time that a given design is judged to be obsolete, that is, it would cost more to improve it than it would cost to make a new model that fixes all the problems of the old model. That's what obsolescence is, basically. Uh, each time a new model comes along, the engineers get the opportunity to fix things that have been mugging them. This right here is the shift shaft. It's connected to a mechanism inside the gearbox which rotates the shift drum, which has cam-like slots milled into it that move the shift forks that engage and disengage the gears. 40, 50 years ago, motorcycles vibrated a great deal more than today. People won't put up with it anymore, but in those days it was regarded as manning up to say, the vibration don't bother me none. It used to happen that on bikes that had the shift pedal actually attached to the shift shaft, it's not the case on this bike because this is up high and the rider's foot is down here, but on the earlier style of bikes, the shift pedal went straight onto this spline and there was a pinch bolt that held it there. When the engine vibrated at a certain speed, the shift pedal might completely disappear. Because the engine is shaking so, the shift pedal is vibrating in sympathetic vibration, moving so fast you can't see it. it wasn't long, a crack would develop, the end of the shaft would drop off with the shift pedal. Didn't matter if you'd safety wired the nut and the bolt. So here, they've made the shift shaft thicker. I wonder why. Some engineer said, that's the last time that's going to happen. 